Texas will be kicking off. As Dave told you, they deferred until the second half. The uh, wind is from the northwest at five. It will be at their back. And deployed deep for AM. On the far side, that's Ray Ray Mickens. And on the near side, Billy Mitchell. They're both standing back at the goal line in anticipation of this kick from Texas. As they've teed it up now at the 35, middle of the field here. Soccer-style kicker in Scott Zeretti, who is a freshman. He's been given the go-ahead. Joe Thomas is our referee tonight. And the uh, showdown for 92 is underway. End under end it goes, and it'll go to Ray Ray at the 3. Return to the 10, to the 15, out to the 20, breaks out to the 30. Now across the 30 to about the 33-yard line. So a nice return there of about 30 yards. Carter and Hill are the running backs. Pullig is the quarterback. No change uh, that I see here in the offensive line. And Greg Short has started at tight end. He's on the left side. And the Ags will go on the ground on the first play as they'll give it off to Hill. Hill trips at the 35 and goes down there. Anthony Curl may have gotten a hand on him. So Greg on that carry to the 35-yard line. Pullig may be calling an audible. Looks back at his running backs. Now they go to a heavy eye. Still counting. There may have been movement before the snap of the ball. No flags, however. Pullig wants to throw. Fumbles the ball. It's on the turf. And I think the Aggies have recovered. Back at the 27-yard line. Norman Watkins may have hit him. And then I think uh, Pullig reached out and brought the ball back in. So drop now back at the 27. That'll be a loss on the play of about seven yards or so. Third down coming, and it's a 15. Shotgun formation. Split backs on either side of Pullock. Takes the snap, drops back into the pocket. Now he may run with the football. Tucks it, he's going out to the 35, or excuse me, the 33, and drops there. Cross the 30 to the 33. Coverage downfield didn't allow for a pass, and he ran back here to the left side and was dropped by Todd Hunt. So now David Davis, the All-American candidate, will check in to punt the ball away for the Aggies. He's averaging for the season at 44.3, his net average at uh, 39.8. Kavnis is a short man here. The deep return man is Mike Adams, and he stands back at the 25-yard line. Line of scrimmage again is the 33. Nice snap. Good kick. It's a sailor that's going to hit short and will get a AM bounce. It will roll inside the 25 and be killed at the 24. First and 10 at their own 24. Dardare, the quarterback, Burleson, the tight end, goes to the left, split backs. Now they shift to an eye. They bounce around in that backfield. They'll pitch, going to Jackson, looking for the corner on the left side. Can't do it. The Aggies swarm him at the line of scrimmage, the 24. Buckley, the first man to get to him. First down and a second down and 10, Texas. They had to use a timeout. Single setback, two wide outs right side. Buckley cheating up on the line of scrimmage. They went the end motion. They're going to throw back this way to Duke behind the line of scrimmage. Aggies will read this one. He'll be swarmed back at the 20-yard line. Behind the line of scrimmage, trying to set up a screen right near the sideline. And the Aggies swarmed him. The first man to get to him was Jesse Cox. And Jesse Cox starting at an inside linebacker along with Jason Atkinson. Shotgun, Texas. It'll be a quarterback draw. Gardeer trying to spin away. Will be dropped at the 29-yard line. Quarterback draw. Gardeer straight up the middle of the field. The Aggies tripped him up with the big arm of Eric England. Punt time, Texas. Here is McClanahan, their punter, averaging 40.4 for the season on 46 kicks. Snaps a good one. And the punt's away. Frazier calling for it over on the right side, takes it at the 24. He's looking for a block, can't find it, dropped at the 24 as he ran parallel to the 25-yard line. After the timeout, it will be Annium's ball. They have it at the 25-yard line. On the ground, it will go to Greg. Greg across the 25 to about the 26 and a half. And Shane Rink, freshman out of Houston, will make the stop for Texas. Ryan Matthews, he's a flanker. Pitch it. Here's Hill looking for running room. He can't find it. He'll take a loss back at the 24. They're down in 11, call it. They need the Texas of the Aggie 35. Split backs. Straight drop pulling. Outside pressure. Into the pocket. Steps. Throws the ball to Carter over the middle. Caught it at the 30-yard line for a six-yard gain. Short of a first down. Line of scrimmage again is the Aggie 30. Texas may be coming. They got 10 people up there, and they are. And he got the kick away, and it's a... Another throw, ball that's going to hit at the 40 and then get an AM roll to the 35-yard line. Burleson's the tight end. 
single setback is offset to the left. Gardere looking to his left, throws the ball, and that is incomplete. Texas fans are wanting an offensive pass, a defensive pass interference on Derek Duke. No call there. That ball went into the turf. Mike Hendricks was there defensively for AM. Tight end right. That's the short side of the field. It'll be a draw to Brown. Nice hole. And he'll be swarmed at the 40. A five-yard pickup here for Phil Brown. Jesse Cox, the first man to get to him. Second possession, Texas. The Aggies have touched it twice. Single setback. Brown backs up now about two yards from the line of scrimmage. He's deep. Ags are going to come here, and it's a delay to Brown on the backfield at the 40-45, across the 45 to the 47. Adrian Walker in the backfield, and they go with an offset eye here, heavy eye right. And they're going to pass the ball. Gardner to the far sideline, has a man off his fingertips. Pickney at the Aggie 25. He's gotten behind Derek Frazier. Second down and 10. Again, a split back formation, tied in right. Open side of the field, flanker in that direction. Gardner. Deep pocket, throws the ball, caught by Pickney at the 40, down across the 40 now to the 39-yard line. Into a and territory. At the 39, knocked down by Jesse Cox. Ags making some shifts here defensively as Texas comes to the line of scrimmage with a split-back formation. Blinker left, now the play, that's the tight end. He's in motion to the right side. Straight drop again, Gardner under a lot of pressure. Caught, dropped! Back outside the 45 at the 47-yard line. Steve Saleri, the first man to get to him. This time, Gardier could not find anybody open. His pocket collapsed around him, and the Aggies take him back uh, 13 yards for a big sack. It'll set up second, and well, eight yards. It'll set up second and 18 at the 47-yard line. They will need the Aggie 29-yard line for a first down. But they have two opportunities at it, single setback, and they have two tight ends in the ballgame, Bearden and Burleson. Here's a fake on the draw, roll, now gonna throw back to the screen to the left side, and they'll get some yardage out of this as they get the ball down to the 33-yard line. They got 15 yards, maybe 14, on a screen back to the left side. Bill Brown out of the backfield caught the pass. Here's a pitch right, they're gonna try to pick it up on the ground, won't do it, they'll be caught and dropped at the 34-yard line, a loss of at least one on that pitch as they went to Adrian Walker, the tailback, and he was dropped by big Sam Adams. It will be a 53-yard effort. Now they're gonna move it up a yard to the 42-yard line. It's a 52-yard effort, angle back to the uh, left. Soccer-style kicker. It's down, it's on its way, and it looks like it has the distance. Did it, it made it just barely through the uprights and over the crossbar. Texas has the initial lead here in the ball game tonight, three to nothing. That is a 50, do we say 52? 52. All right, that matches his longest of the season. So Reddy had a 52-yarder earlier this year, and Texas has the first points tonight, and it comes at the 442 mark as they go up 3 to nothing over the Aggies. Texas has a 3 nothing lead. They're about to kick off to the Ags. Down deep on the far side will be Billy Mitchell. On the near side will be Ray Mickens. Scott Serretti, who kicked the 52-yard field goal, gets this one in the air, and it'll be a little bit short. Be taken at the 13 on the run by Mitchell. Here's the return out across the 30 to about the 33. Slot, break it, motion back to the left side from Mitchell. And we'll keep it on the ground and go to Hill. Hill hits in to the Texas right side of the defensive front. Across the 35 to about the 37. Went for Tubbs, their number one tackler, led that charge. Aggies will show an eye formation. Tight end is on the uh, right side. They have two tight ends. It's an option coming back this way around the corner. And Hill is across the 40 and stops at the 41. Here they go with a quarterback sneak. Won't do it. They're going to come to Hill. He's looking for the outside and will be swarmed. And now he breaks back across the 43 to about the 43-yard line and drop there. Let's see where they've spotted the ball. If they've spotted it at the 43, that will be an AM first down. They needed less than the 43 for the uh, first first down of the night. High formation, Carter the lead back, Greg Hill is the tailback. Split in here on the left, Laker right, play action. Here's Pulling under pressure, throws the ball, and it is incomplete at the Texas 40, and he is smashed to the turf by Anthony Curl as he threw the football. Ag show a light eye, straight drop Pulling from the pocket, looking, dancing around, rolls right, throws the ball in and out of the hands of McKeon, at the 49-yard line, right off his chest, 